you tell us about the, the gauges that we're watching? Um, was it employment or unemployment data that we saw this morning drop? Yeah, it was unemployment data. Well, actually, if you look at the percent, it stayed the same at about 3.9 percent. Now, the picture came in much better than expected, Matt, but here's the issue. It might be masking some of the greater issues in the U.K. job market, and that's because the data really only counts people who are actively searching for jobs. And if you've just lost your job, looking for a new one while the country, parts of it are still on lockdown, is very difficult. So we can tell the picture is not a bright one by looking at vacancies. I've mapped the two together. I flipped unemployment. So you can see they usually track each other. But look at what's happened to vacancies. They've, they've plummeted, meaning there just aren't as many job openings. They barely moved with this last report. And so that tells us that people are likely not looking for jobs at this moment. So the actual rate of people who don't have jobs is likely much worse, especially when you think of the government schemes also helping people as well. Now, it's also likely that discretionary spending has been pulled back a lot. This is another sign that people are nervous about jobs. If you look the UK retail footfall, for example, it's far below France and Germany, which I have in the blue and yellow. Still, UK retail footfall is about half the level it was before the coronavirus pandemic. Yes, we're getting less foreign visitors, but look at someone like France, only 15% below pre-virus levels. Now, finally, another indication here, restaurants. We did see the level go back to normal, back to pre-virus with the introduction of the government scheme, but it started to wane again, just showing there is a lot of fear within the UK populace. Anna, Matt.